1912, the year of the Titanic's demise. We traveled back in time to uncover the mystery of my great-grandfather's disappearance. However, we arrived 24 hours late. And not only is the ship currently sinking, but our time capsule is broken. Someone left already? It's gonna puncture this boiler room! Norman, what the hell? Would you survive the sinking Titanic? Hey, hey, hey! I'm the Global Cherry and I will be your time traveler and survival guide. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! Our time capsule is broken, but don't worry. I brought a portable time travel device as backup. As this is a 21st century device, the only way for this to function is to find old-fashioned batteries on the ship. Therefore, we have three objectives in this mission. 1. Find Everett Bennett. 2. Survive the sinking. And 3. Return to our timeline unscathed, as the RMS Titanic was a massive vessel over 880 feet long, with 16 watertight compartments. We have about two and a half hours to do all of this. And if we're lucky, with extra time, we can grab souvenirs before leaving. Let the survival begin. The first survival tip would be to stay calm. We have knowledge from the future that puts us at a difference between life and death. Judging from the screams from the ocean liners, it seems like people are not following that advice. Take deep breaths, and perhaps after drinking some liquid courage, you may feel better. There's some children in the tour group, Cherry. Ah, then in that case, here's a paper bag to calm yourself. As for those who are legal to drink, this survival tip applied to a man named Charles Jofen. He was a chief baker on the Titanic who remained calm throughout the ordeal after consuming alcohol and survived the freezing temperatures of the Atlantic Ocean until his rescue. The next survival tip would have helped us if we arrived earlier, having lots of money to pay for a more expensive cabin. The first and second cabins are on much higher decks of the ship, which could increase our chances for survival and escape. Did you break those ropes by shaking your this just can't be good. The RMS Titanic had over 2,200 people, with 16 lifeboats that were launched before all of them were filled. And out of the 2,200 people, 1,500 of them died. If we are first class or second class passengers, most likely we would have had priority being escorted onto the lifeboats first. At the top deck of the ship, specifically its starburst, Officer William Murdoch will start loading passengers onto the lifeboats. He would let women and children board the boats first, but he'll most likely let men hop in as well. Seeing that we're in the lower decks as third class passengers, we may not be able to board until later. Shoot. I guess even time traveling has a budget. There is one thing we could do to have safe passage off the ship, but it may not be moral. If first and second class passengers have priority, perhaps we can visit their cabins, kindly borrow their clothes, money, and identification as disguises? You can almost pass for a gentleman. Almost. How would people know that we're an imposter? Too much? Come on, people. You got to be ready to commit to the part. That's illegal. Fine. Since people are boarding off this boat anyways, at least let's borrow their wardrobe to wear more layers for us to stay warm. Wearing lots of clothing could protect us from the frigid air and water. To tell you the truth, I'm a lot more concerned about that water being so cold. If the clothes were made of wool, that's fantastic because it specifically repels water and creates insulating air pockets. And if we can find life jackets on board, that's even better if we decide to do a leap of faith off the boat. But unless you're Ezio Auditore, I don't recommend it. As we're still near the lower decks of the bow and stern, we should make our way to the top of the boats as much as we can by climbing the grand staircase during our ongoing investigation. We should make the least contact with water as much as possible, as 10 minutes in the frigid ocean could paralyze our body. If we pass by any engine rooms, electrical rooms, or storage areas, we should be able to get the necessary batteries for our time travel device. What the hell was that? What, what is that thing? It seems like time traveling has not only changed us, but some residents on the boat. Whatever that grotesque creature is, we better not be caught in its grasp. I mean, why would we want to? It has terrible recorder skills. <laughs> On the bright 
right side. We got batteries we needed for our device, so we better escape. Oh, <sighs> that was a close call. I don't know about you, but I could really use a breather and maybe a bite to eat. You're always hungry. Shut up, inner voice. How about we swing by the dining room on D-Deck? I hear they've got a killer menu, though hopefully not literally. To make each day count. Now that we're nourished, we can head up to the next few decks. Wait, what is this? A passenger manifesto for an Everett Bennett who is in cabin 304 on deck C. Holy smokes, he's actually here. We may not leave empty handed after all and unravel his story that was shrouded in secrets and disbelief. With caution. I'm not a part of it. All must go. This woman must go. It's part of me now. Uh, although, I'll never be part of it. No way. So he time-traveled back here to search for the Heart of the Ocean necklace. But his obsession twisted him to a high degree. So that thing... Wait, it can't be. I think we discovered a secret that should have stayed hidden, guys. I'll take these back as our piece of evidence, but I think he's long gone. We have our evidence and souvenirs, so let's head to the top decks to buy us time to travel back. Ah, uh, hell nah. I'm not a ghostbuster to deal with these kind of situations, but since we're facing these situations currently, I have an idea. Run! <laughs> We are at the top deck and at this point, we could board any remaining collapsibles near the front of the ship. Collapsible A and B would most likely be available. And if we take the B boat, all of us could survive even if it's flipped over. But even with those boats, the crew are still very strict with their women and children first rule in terms of safety. Women and children first. So the chances of surviving are greater if you're a woman or a child. Apparently, 97% of female first-class passengers were rescued, while 32% of their male counterparts were saved. I do not wish to keep the statistics this way, because no man, woman, or lamp should be left behind. However, there are other options we could explore, especially for our dapper gentlemen in our tour group. One, we all stayed together on the highest point of the Titanic stern, buying us time to call for help until it's fully submerged. <laughs> The Titanic's deck is about 17 meters above water, so we have time to throw chairs or any weight off of the ship to keep us afloat until later. 2. We work together, keep each other awake, and wait for help on pieces of floating debris and wreckage. Let's not reenact a Rose and Jack scenario, where one of us is engulfed by the ocean and the other one swears to not let go. Or option three, if you're open to wearing dresses, I'm sure these would look slimming on you, madam. Yes, pretty little boys, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like we have option four. Our time travel device is now working, but it seems like Rose's suite is a compatible capsule for returning to our time period. Fantastic. Either we make a grand escape from this ship through Rose's suite, or we sink with the ship, and the ocean draws us like they're French girls. Who's with me on the first option? Awesome. Let's head there quickly. Well, well, well. It looks like we survived the sinking of the Titanic after all. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, we did it. I'll see you all on the other side, and we shall become the time travel legends. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe for more interactive survival guides like this. Leave a like on the video and comment how you would survive the sinking Titanic. Share your game plans and knowledge with all of us so that we can work together and live to tell the tale. Thank you for watching, and that's all. What? How do you know if this is really me or not? Why do you not think it's me? I've always been me.